is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Here by Revlon. <laughs> oh man, I've been doing comedy for about two years. And you know the first thing about comedy that you learn is that no one can teach you anything. And when you rock up for your first gig, I'm sure if any one of you wanted to do it, you'd ask someone there, you know, for any advice. And this is the advice that you get given. And I've heard this advice being given to other comedians that start for the first time. Just don't piss yourself. Now, like, when someone tells you that, isn't the first thing that comes into your mind, like, has someone done that? <laughs> ah, shit. Anyway, I'm working on my intro. And I'm really battling with my intro, because I think intro is everything. It's like a bird, I mean a girl, so you're not a bird. Don't even prejudice against birds. It's like a girl sitting at the bar and you want to chat it up. You've got to have that right approach. Am I right, girls? You can't come in too smooth. You're not going to get anything. And you can't come in like, yeah, you know, nothing's going to happen. You've got to have that perfect pitch. Otherwise, you're going home alone tonight. Anyway, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking life's very really unfair, right? Is life unfair? Okay, let me ask the men this. Is life unfair, men? No? Never lost a job? Never lost a job to a woman? <laughs> never? Never been outclassed by a woman? Fucking liars, man. That's what I can say. But I was thinking about it, you know what I mean? It's actually our parents' fault. Specifically our father. Or fathers. By the way, Peter, welcome from the UK. I want to tell you something about the UK. Can I just jump quickly? I'm not going to be on too long. Um, South Africa celebrated in the, in, you know, in the World Cup. I know we lost, but South Africa celebrate when two things happen in the World Cup. When the Brits go home, <laughs> especially in the first round, don't ask me why, and when Australia doesn't win. <laughs> two teams we don't like, I don't know why. Eh? But it's the first time I've ever seen men cry rugby. I never thought that men would cry over balls. Because <laughs> it's true. What was I talking about before this? Oh yes, unfair. And I think it's men's fault. Have you noticed, let's take, let's take kids, right, when you're kids. Let's say in your household there's a sister and a brother. And let's say they're very, you know, closely aged. In other words, they're far apart. Have you noticed with a little boy, till about six or seven, if he falls over, if he trips, if he bumps, ah, oh, he's cute, they think my boy. But somewhere between seven, six, and ten, you know, you go from being your cute little boy to, ah, oh, you're a dumb dress, eh? get on your own two feet. Whereas girls, have you noticed, they can be a hundred years old and their father can be a hundred, my princess. This is my, my princess. She, dad, she, she's my princess. And that, because I was trying to figure out why Bruce Jenner became Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> and I'm telling you to get that. Do you know how many times, this is a true story, you know how many times people race up to me, I'll be driving, and I let my hair is And I see others, so they're like, drive. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me there's no unfair advantage to being a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, the worst thing about it is, sorry mom, my mother's the next act and I'm swearing. And this is why I don't trust gay people. Because let me tell you something, if you can do this, and just snap out of it like, and go back, how's the thing? I like a little beard. I could stroke it. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm sure anyone can do it. I'm sure every man in this, in this, I feel like a woman now, personally. Do you know that women use more toilet paper than men? Yeah. No, it's a fact. And do you know they shit 10% of what we shit? Women don't even know what it's like to have a man shit. Men know what it's like to have a man shit. Women, it's like a little bog drawing just bam, bam. Women use more toilet paper, and look at this, the three ply that they want is not for their tushies. Because let's be honest, one little wipe and it's gone. I've seen, because you, I'm sure, how many boys have ever said to their girlfriend, please can I check? Have none of you done that? Am I the only one? Have none of you ever said to your girlfriend, boop, babe, can, can I see your boob? I just, I, just, I just want to have a look. I want to, ah, ah, it's happened to you. Don't lie, don't lie, you've gone red. You've turned purple. In fact, you, you, you camouflaged by your, your jersey. Men do that. Men do that. I've actually, I've actually asked 
three or four of my girlfriends, I had a fat girlfriend once, she shits just like a man. <laughs> so it's actually the volume of food that you eat depending on how much you crap. But men, I, I'm not lying to you, men can have a shit that you need to have a shower afterwards. <laughs> you think I'm joking? You know what happened to me today, right? This is very funny in my head, so if it doesn't come out that way, I'm very sorry. I was on the crapper. And I was busy. Dun, 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 dun. What happened is I didn't have my morning shit. I skipped that one. So by the time it came to five o'clock to have the second shit, this turned into what I call a man shit. And did you remember, did you see how the rain came down? I don't fucking know where the rain. So I'm sitting on the crapper, and I'll, I've got a little cottage outside, it's the Kaya. But anyway, it's a cottage. Well, I tell girls that anyway until they get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder why I don't get laid twice by the same girl, but anyway, it's a little story. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the shit house. I hope this comes out in my head the way it's going to come out. I was saying, I'm thinking, my room's good because my front door's open. Because if you live in a Kaya and you have a shit, you got to leave the Kaya after you've had a shit. Either that or you've got to stay in the Kaya because then you don't smell the shit. But the moment you leave the car and come back into the car, there's nothing worse than smelling your own cock. It's like, shit, do I smell that bad? So I'm sitting on the throne, it starts to piss and rain. Have men, have men ever, like, have you ever forgotten the toilet paper? Any of you? And you walk around with your pants down to your knees? <laughs> now I'm walking to my door. The fucking rain is coming in. Ah, so. I was telling you about three part toilet paper. Shut up, you're making me laugh. It's supposed to be the other way around. Alright, so women use more toilet paper and the reason they want three ply, guys, so when you go, when your girlfriend sends you to the shop to buy toilet paper, you have to know why you're buying it. The three ply is not for their butts. They use one square for that. Because they poop. The rest is to line the shit house so they don't get splashed. I mean, for fuck's sake, what's a little water on your heart going to do? Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. Whoa! I don't know what to say next. What's on my list? <laughs> I just want to bring something to everybody's attention, right? You know, because a lot, of, a lot of comedians spoke about weed tonight. I don't know how many of you are against weed or how many are uh, 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 pro it. Alcohol. On my life, dude, this is a stat. Kills more people than all other drugs combined. I just want to get into character to say it again. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Alright, guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoy my mother, and then you'll know what I have to live with. Thank you.